Good Friday morning. I'm Katherine Hauser. It is 8.55 right now. We're going to get a check of your top stories right after Danielle's forecast. Happy Friday, Danielle. Happy Friday, Catherine. We made it to the end of the week. 66 in Boston, 70 in Nashville right now. Most of us rising through the 60s with some clouds, but breaks of sunshine coming out. Cold front's going to come in today and bring a chance of a shower right on through the afternoon. Temperatures up into the 80s, 70s on the Cape. It's going to be humid through the afternoon, then drier air works in this evening. Tomorrow, sunny clouds, mid-70s, upper 60s at the coast. Scattered showers and storms. It's going to rain pretty hard. Sunday morning into the afternoon. Could be some late day breaks of sun. Traffic and weather together. Roby? Danielle, we have a problem on the expressway, which is resolving itself right before our very eyes. Let's go live to the camera right now. You see there's a flatbed in the center lane of the expressway northbound. This is just before Freeport Street. We had our center lane crash that blocked it. There was an ambulance and two fire trucks there. Those are gone. But still, traffic is backed up stop and go to Granite Ave. Catherine? All right, Roby, thank you very much. Checking our top stories now for you on this Friday. A Connecticut man is accused in a frightening attack at the Merrimack Premium Outlet in New Hampshire. Police say 25-year-old Desmond Mighty, you see there, grabbed a 16-year-old and pinned her down and tried to sexually assault her. She screamed and managed to get away. Police say they found guns, a knife, condoms, and marijuana in his car. Mighty is facing a number of charges, including attempted kidnapping. We are learning new details about the death of a toddler at a Rhode Island daycare center. The state's health director says the child died of an invasive strep throat infection. It's rare for strep to become invasive, and doctors say this toddler's case progressed quicker than normal. The child attended the children's workshop. Thirteen other kids have been given antibiotics as a precaution. A very close call for a state trooper. We're told a pickup truck crashed into the back of the trooper's cruiser on the side of 495 South in Norton near exit 9. The trooper is okay. No word on the driver's injuries. State police are now investigating. Our next newscast is today at noon. Hope to see you then. And you can always stay connected right here on WBZ anytime through CBSBoston.com. Have a great day.